Now the urgent need to digitalize borders in order to facilitate the aspirations and objectives of African Union's flagship programs. Uh, one of these, of course, is the Africa Continental Free Trade Area is a top on the list and conversations of the single market, air transport market, and the free movement of persons protocol is a major factor in driving this. Uh, we're speaking now with uh, Jeremy Springle, Senior Vice President of SITA at borders uh, joins us now to tell us um, how we can achieve this issue of digitalizing the borders uh, thank you so much for your time mr springle no thank you thank you for having me on yeah so um when we when we look at uh, after it's 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 uh, how many years now uh, we've seen progress how much progress let's start from there do you see uh, looking from outside the continent i mean the, the the opportunity that uh, the Africa continental free trade area presents is is immense. You know, we've got 1.2 billion consumers and the gross domestic product of Africa combined is over two and a half trillion dollars. So the opportunity is certainly there. But ever since we uh, announced the, uh, the the free trade area, there's been obstacles in their way. And one of the big challenges that is faced is at the border. So how can we um, move forward in a way that enables governments to protect their national borders from security threats and other threats, but equally find a way of opening up their borders to allow trade and travel into their countries in terms of both goods and people? And uh, that's going to be essential if we're going to see the growth that we expect from these big initiatives like the, uh, the continental free trade area. Yeah, so when you talk about digitalizing the border, what exactly do you mean? What's the picture? What does it look like? Yeah, so if you imagine the border today, um, in most borders, whether it's a land border, an air border or a sea border, um, you know, quite often we'll need to queue up at immigration and go through a number of checks, whether that's goods or people. Um, in the future, we see a world where the border is digital. And the key element of that is to be able to pre-clear goods and travellers before they even reach their border, ideally before they even start their journey. And if we know and we've risk assessed those goods and people before they reach our border, when they arrive, it should be a much more seamless experience. So that pre-clearance is, is essential. And there's a number of elements to that, but the most critical one is around digital identities. So across Africa, we're seeing many countries implement digital national ID cards that could be used for international travel across Africa or particularly across the region. And we're also seeing a lot of international standards being developed, the main one being from the, uh, the part of the UN responsible for passports, which is an organization called ICAO. They're introducing the digital travel credential, which in effect is the digital version of the passport. And that will enable us as travelers uh, to be able to share our passport data in advance of travel, including our biometrics, which is typically held in a in a passport and therefore governments can risk assess this in advance and then when we arrive at the border all we need to do is really walk across the border using our biometrics so a very seamless border experience so that sort of pre-clearance is absolutely key to this yeah um there's a couple of other key areas just mm. just to mention quickly the, one of the big things that covid taught us was around um, the, our border rules and the impact of the border, our border rules very rarely changed pre-COVID. Um, they were very static. And one thing that COVID showed is that we need to move to more of a dynamic border, mm. one which could change based on real-time events, All right. whether they are security events or whether they are um, opportunities to encourage trade into our country for a, for a period of period of time or for a big event, big sporting event. Mm. You know, how do we get people into the country? All right. So moving to more, to more of a dynamic border is really key. All right, Mr. Springle, um, uh, we're almost out of time, so but we will invite you to come and elaborate on this more uh, subsequently on our business programs here. We do hope that you will be available for that. Absolutely.
Great. So that's uh, Mr. Jeremy Springer, Senior Vice President of SITA.